How often you said that the old order of Bane had ended with the death of your master. An apprentice no longer needs to be stronger, you told me, merely more clever. The era of keeping score, suspicion and betrayal was over. Strength is not in the flesh, but in the force. He laughed. You lost the game on the very first day you chose to train me to rule by your side, or better still, under your thumb. Teacher, yes, and for that I will be eternally grateful. But master, never. Sidious peered at Plagueis through the Force. Oh yes, by all means gather your midichlorians, Plagueis. He held his thumb and forefinger close together. Try to keep yourself alive while I choke the life out of you. Plagueis gulped for air and lifted an arm toward him. There's the rub, you see, Sidious said in a philosophical tone. All the ones you experimented on, killed and brought back to life, they were little more than toys. Now though, you get to experience it from their side. And look what you discover. In a body that is being denied air, in which even the force is failing, your own midichlorians can't accomplish what you're asking up them. Hatred stained Sidious's eyes. I could save you, of course. Return you from the brink as you did Penimus. I could retask your body to repair the damage already done to your lungs, your hearts, your aged brain. But I'll do no such thing. The idea here is not to drag you back at the last moment, but to bring you to death's door and shove you through to the other side. Sidious side. A tragedy, really, for one so wise. One who could oversee the lives and deaths of all beings, except himself. The Mune's eyes had begun to bulge, his pale flesh to turn cyanotic. You may be wondering, when did he begin to change? The truth is that I haven't changed. As we have clouded the minds of the Jedi, I clouded yours. Never once did I have any intention of sharing power with you. I needed to learn from you, no more, no less. To learn all of your secrets, which I trusted you would eventually reveal. But what made you think that I would need you after that? Vanity, perhaps? Your sense of self-importance? You've been nothing more than a pawn in a game played by a genuine master. The Sitari. A cruel love escaped him. Reflect back on even the past few years, assuming you have the capacity. Yinchor, Dovala, Eriadu, Maul, the Nymoidians, Naboo, an army of crones, the fallen Jedi, Dooku. You think these were your ideas when in fact, they were mine, cleverly suggested to you so that you could feed them back to me. You were far too trusting, Plagueis. No true Sith can ever really care about another. This has always been known. There is no way but my way. Sidious's eyes narrowed. Are you still with me, Plagueis? Yes, I detect that you are. Though barely. A few final words, then. I could have let you die in the Fobosi district, but I couldn't allow that to happen when there was still so much I didn't know. <laughs> so many powers that remained just outside my reach. And as it happened, I acted wisely in rescuing you. Otherwise, how could I be standing here and you be dying? I actually thought you would die on Sojan. And you would have if the hut hadn't tipped you off to Varuna's scheme. And yet that also turned out for the best. For even after all you taught me, I might not have been able to take the final steps to the Chancellorship without your help in manipulating the Senate and bringing into play your various and sundry allies. If it's any consolation, 
I'm being honest when I say that I could not have succeeded without you. But now that we won the race, I've no need for a co-chancellor. Your presence, much less your unnecessary counsel, would only confuse matters. I have more to do what the risk of discovery might not allow me to do, while I execute the rest of the grand plan. Growing an army, fomenting rebellion, and fabricating intergalactic war, corralling the Jedi, and catching them unawares. Rest easy in your grave, Pegasus. In the end, I will be proclaimed Emperor. The Sith will have had their revenge, and I will rule the galaxy. Plagueis slid to the floor and rolled face down. Death rattled his nuns, and he died.